Deadline just brought us some major breaking news when it comes to the Marvel Studios MCU Thunderbolts movie because we now have an official new casting of Steven Yeun for this movie. Not only this movie, but the whole MCU going forward because apparently Steven Yeun is going to be playing a character in this film, which is the character's details are being kept under wraps. It's supposedly a very important character who will have a substantial role in the film and even past this movie will have a substantial role going forward in the MCU overall. So this is definitely really quite interesting news. Um, and of course, because we don't have official news on what this character is that he's going to play, that leaves it up to us to theorize and speculate who is Steven Yeun going to play in this movie. And first, before we even get to talk about that, I just want to talk about the sheer greatness that it's Steven Yeun because, I mean, this man's a great actor. Um... Of course, The Walking Dead. Nope. I know mainly from Invincible. He does a great job doing the voice in that show. Um, Steven Yeun is just a great actor. So seeing him in the MCU, I think, is great. Uh, whatever character he ends up playing, I think he's going to do a great job no matter what. But when it comes to those characters, when this news first came out and it was like, okay, character is going to have a substantial role in this movie that hasn't been cast yet until now the first place my mind went was sentry because of course the big reports going around are that sentry will be the main villain of this thunderbolts movie he's going to start off as a team member created by val of course uh julia louis dreyfus's character of contessa valentina allegra de fontaine she's going to create sentry he's going to be part of the team and then it'll go crazy and he will end up being the villain of the film and I think this makes a lot of sense because, I mean, when you look at Steven Yeun, he definitely doesn't look like the kind of guy that would play a Superman-type character like Sentry. Uh, but then again, you look at what we were looking for with this character, and the casting calls were for a Ryan Gosling type. And Ryan Gosling isn't really a big guy either. He's he's on the smaller side as well. And while Steven Yude could bulk up, and I feel like he probably will at least a little bit, um, I think this makes sense. I think Steven Yude could be considered a, a Ryan Gosling type for sure. So I think that definitely could work. And I do think there's also kind of at least a little bit ties into the whole, this character would have a substantial role, not only in this movie, but going forward in the MCU as well, uh, because there are rumors and reports that I have uh, made videos about in the past about Sentry not only being in this movie as the villain, but also returning and having his own project, whether that's his own Sentry movie or Sentry Disney Plus series but anyway century will be getting his own uh focused project going forward at some point in the mcu at least that's what's uh what's going to happen according to all these rumors and reports so i could see steven yoon in the role as century it's definitely i mean not my first pick definitely not who i would have chosen for this role i mean obviously i would have loved to have like a henry cavill or alexander skarsgård or something like that um I'm interested to see, like, if this is the case and Steven Yeun is playing Sentry, would they still do the uh, the Goldilocks blonde hair? Um, I don't really know how how Steven Yeun would look with that. That'd be definitely in a very interesting look. But, you know, you never know. Um, could also, I mean, to be fair, maybe they are going with an actor like this, obviously for representation, um, but also, like, maybe to differentiate it from because, like, another godlike character with long luscious blonde locks like that could be like oh it's like another thor so maybe like a darker hair color would look different or something like that 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 could be what's going on here i don't really know for sure but um another big theory that when this news first came out that a lot of people were kind of jumping to the conclusion what with is that he's going to be playing Amadeus Cho. Now, Amadeus Cho in the comics is a young scientist. He's like this young scientist prodigy, probably around the same age as like Shuri at this point in the MCU. And he in the comics becomes uh, another Hulk known as the Totally Awesome Hulk. And I suppose given how we know things are going to be going in Captain America New World Order with Red Hulk and She-Hulk being involved in there and the leader and a whole bunch of Hulk stuff going forward in the MCU, I suppose Amadeus Cho could be a character that definitely would factor in and would have a major role in the MCU. But I feel like one, Steven Yeun is probably too old with the character because he's like 39 years old and Amadeus Cho is supposed to be younger. Uh, two... 
I think we don't really need Amadeus Cho because we have enough other characters that are very similar to him, and we have enough Hulks as it is, um, especially looking at, like, younger-type Hulks, where we already have Scar, who is introduced in She-Hulk, and then on top of that, we're going to be getting Hulkling at some point, and so a third Young Avenger-level Hulk character, I really don't think we need that in the MCU, at least not anytime soon. But one of the theory that... I saw pop up, which I think is really quite interesting. Uh, this is a theory that comes from uh, Mastertainment on Twitter, also from New Rockstars. I love that guy. He put out the theory and the idea and the pitch that maybe Stephen Hewn could play Mr. Griffin, who, of course, I did a video on the other day. Mr. Griffin in the comics is a Kang variant. And in that video, I talked about how According to one of the scoopers, Mr. Griffin is coming to the MCU at some point in the next few years. So what if Steven Yoon played Mr. Griffin, a variant of Kang? Now, at first I was like, ah, that probably wouldn't work because uh, judging off that post-credit scene for, well, mid-credit scene of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania where we saw a bunch of Kang variants, every single one of them was played by Jonathan Major. So to have just just one Kang variant not played by Jonathan Majors would probably be a little weird. But then again, you have to factor in the idea that, I mean, that's how variants work. Variants can look the same, but they can also be played by different actors. I mean, you look at Loki specifically, that was a great example. Um, I mean, sure, Jonathan Majors is mainly all of these Kangs that we've seen so far, but in Loki, you know, most of what we saw was Tom Hiddleston Lokis, but then you get to, I think it was episode five, with uh that time in the void you had richard e grant and you had uh jack veal i think was his name is kid loki and then you had uh, this other loki where you know one argument could be made like okay even if it is a different actor uh this other loki would still have to be black i I mean kang but i mean tom hiddleston is white they had a black loki so you could have Jonathan Majors, the main, the main Kang. You could have an Asian Kang. That could totally be a thing. Um, and I think Steven Yoon actually would be amazing casting for uh, Mr. Griffin. I think he'd be great for that role, which kind of reminds me of why I wanted him for the role of Mr. Negative in the MCU, which is now reminding me that now that's not a possibility anymore. And that actually kind of saddens me, saddens me a little bit. But I mean, hey, him getting an even bigger role, I think is even better. Um, but him doing a... Um, kind of businessman type role the uh street level kang variant i think would be pretty awesome as i talked about in that video the other day um mr griffin is the one in marvel comics that bought avengers tower and turned it into kang enterprises q e n g so we could be seeing that going on here and that could be how he uh features into thunderbolts is because he's the street level kang and that's how they could tie thunderbolts and some of these other street level grounded projects into kang dynasty and secret wars and all these bigger multiversal projects so that i think actually will be pretty awesome i actually really like that idea but again i I mean just judging how like every single other version of of kang we've seen so far is played by jonathan majors i feel like it is less likely even though it is possible it's most likely that every version of Kang, including Mr. Griffin, will probably be, be pl- probably be played by Jonathan Majors. So, uh, anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about this news that Steven Yeun is going to be playing a very important character in the Thunderbolts movie and an important character going forward in the MCU? Who do you think is going to be playing and what type of role do you think he will play in the MCU? So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please drop a give enjoy this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep it to date on if me goes on in the Marvel life.